Thank you so much. So hello everybody. Um, so it's a pity that I cannot see nobody, but I hope yeah, my, my camera isn't doesn't um, work, but it's okay. I hope you hear me. So maybe I introduce myself a little bit. I'm I'm not so much a researcher. I I, I study sociology and I, I publish some things, but um, I was more known as an activist in the last 10 years in Berlin and then the, the Greens asked me to, to join the government of one district in, in Berlin which is Friedrichshain Kreuzberg, maybe the most famous district in Berlin where you have the, the tradition of, um, yeah, of, of left left um, politics and also left um, self-governed um, activism, um, especially spottering and all that stuff in the in the last 60 years. And so they asked me to do th this job, which, which from my point of view was a perfect opportunity to really um, go ahead with activism, let's say. It was not like, oh, now I am the politician and now I have to do the things totally different. No, I, I, it was an opportunity for me to say, okay, what can an activist do in, in politics? So I, I think I did the job quite interesting, in an interesting way. At least um, the, the media in Germany, in whole Germany, some also international media, um, they, they were interested in, in what we did and what we're still doing. And yeah, this was basically to buy back the city. Buying means buying by, let's say, some co cooperatives or public housing um, housing companies. Uh, they have the um, the job to to buy houses and to keep them the rents affordable. And on the other hand, we did this with the the right for first refusal. You may know this principle it might exist in every. Uh, in every place in the world where you have laws, but in, in Germany it's, it's, it's quite special. So you can, if there is a, mm, a danger to that people can get, um, and can, can, can lose their space, their and space then you can um, use this right uh, to first refusal and you take the buyer away his, and his uh, loved um, object of desire. What the, the house he wanted to buy and you take it for and you give it to another to another company and they then keep it so but the movement in berlin the the housing movement um has an interesting history it also from my point of view emerged in friedrichshain kreuzberg more or less as the most rebellious district and it emerged um, for example in, in in one place which is now nearly totally communalized that means it's, it's in, 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 the, in the hands of the public companies in, in, in uh, let's say three steps they they bought all the buildings it's Coti corpus tor if you know it it's, it's, it's a really uh, famous um, area in, in the heart of Kreuzberg where they built these kind of skyscraper social housing um, area and in in the year well which year was it I think it was 10 years before many activists in this area started to to think about how how could how can we change the situation how can we get back the city and they wrote a lot of, of, of uh, papers, they made conferences, they, they organized the people in that place, there were a lot of people from, from well, with a background of mi migration, and it was a great job of community organizing and a great job of, let's say, campaigning. And this, these, these people from that, that area, the activists, they, they of course, um, always looked at the whole city and they, they mingled with other activists and so one one year it was I think it was um, in 2014 they they launched a, a referendum a referendum on how the politics of public housing should be uh, first of all about the existing um, public housing or formal public housing that they that they should get 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 
again in the hands of the of the of the city. So they launched a, a referendum, and this referendum it's always two steps. You need to collect a lot of uh, signatures, and then you can go to the referendum. And they they collected enough signatures, and then they negotiated with the government. So it's possible they negotiated instead of going for a referendum. They negotiated a law on public housing, and this was kind of yeah revolution. But it was in an in a in a moment where the government was quite classical social democrat government. So quite neoliberal and classic um, understanding of how the city developed and they this government was uh, really totally late in considering that we have we had a problem on the on the real estate issue so then but then they, they negotiated um, the the law and the, some institutions were created and some persons out of this movement they they came to lead these institutions. So it was a kind of municipal um, transformation and it's still going on. Then we had election in the year 16, 2016. And in this elections, we had, the, at, as a result, the first time a left, really left government with a tree uh, <laughs> uh, three parties uh, from the left, um, still leading the, so the social democrats. But um, maybe this will change now. Um, so this was a new moment because now the, the the movement who put a lot of lot of pressure on the government before now they had really people in the government they could um, work with. So Andre Holm, you may know him as a sociologist and activist, um, all quite quite known. He was um, he, he became the, the secretary, uh, secretary, state secretary for housing, then the resistance against him in the, let's say, neoliberal spheres was so strong and they used uh, something in his biography. He was uh, as a young, young, really young person, 18 years old, he was um, in, the, in the secret service uh, of the GDR, DDR, and so they used this against him and so Maybe then the, they, they, the, the mayor of Berlin said he has to leave. So it was kind of short two months um, revolution. My my person was the other person who, as an activist, joined government, but only on a district level. And then um, yes, we had a we had an interesting four years now. Now we have elections in September, and. There were some points in this in this uh, four years that I can mention that had has, from my point of view, has to do something with um, municipalist, um, let's say, moments. One is that some politician, some activists, come to came to politics. We had these kind of institutions that were created by the referendums, uh, referendums um, uh, issues that I mentioned before. And then we had. Um, a strong, strong, strong movement uh, on on the housing, on the rent issue, that pressured the government to 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 try to do something. Um, the, and what did the government first? The districts, together with the the, the whole city government, um, they introduced this instrument of uh, right to first refusal that by to buy in when someone is buying, and so then you can can uh, change the, the way of, of whose property will be uh, uh, real estate. So this was really a, a movement. It was a movement inside the government. I was, I was the one who, who forced, who, who did it the, the strongest way, because in this district, it was, it was really pressuring the, this topic, but also because maybe I, I had this activist attitude. So, from the beginning, I worked together with with the tenants of the house, of the, the affected tenants of the houses, and we, yeah, we we, we put a lot of pre of put a lot of pressure on the on the on the city state to really try their best to that we could buy the houses. It was it's always a fight because you have only two months and there's a lot of complicated things you have to do. 
but it was in the first two years it was like a small revolution because never in in, in any city of germany this instrument uh, was used in this radical way and it was a kind of shock for the for the real estate business people that this can happen because it, they felt it was like kind of expropriation and they they they, they talked about let's say robin hood and whatever so it was kind of uh, media effective as well and on the other hand the city was working worked on a, on a new law which is a rent cap called and this rent cap you may know it failed some months before the constitutional of uh, constitutional court of germany they um, said uh, berlin has not uh, the right to in influence on that issue on regulating the rents that way this is only the competence of the federal government so they didn't say it's it's wrong they said it's not your business and but this law was really um, was really invented it was invented by the government but it, it was was uh, really a, f uh, a result of the pressure of the street because we had, we had so big um, manifestations in the streets uh, that we had never before um, on the housing issue in it was in, in the year 18 i think so both both issues buying back the city and regulating the rents were really strong and and on the other hand, a new movement then surged. It was also in 18, maybe 2018. It was the idea of to expropriate big big housing companies. And interesting is that this people who who then are actually right now um, collecting signatures for a new referendum expropriating big enterprises housing enterprises these people were the same more or less uh, people who that i talked to you before from this kreuzberg area the nucleus of them not all um so it, it remembered me to other stories from barcelona and maybe belgrade that you always have um we have one story one nucleus of people who really are experienced like in La Pa and in, 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 in Spain and in, in Barcelona, and then they founded some of them were really like Aracolau, um, important in the foundation of the platform um, Barcelona and Comun. And here it was a bit like that: that the people who did the first referendum, then now they th they, 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 they they thought, what can we do? And they invented a new referendum. And this is a uh, one of the biggest movement right now because it's so professional. It really like I, mean, I would say ten thousands of people are inside the movement organizing the referendum the, col the the campaigning the collecting of signatures and we'll see what will happen because then when the constitutional um, um yeah said you cannot do the the rent cap um, in berlin then people again were really angry not angry on the berlin government that they tried something and failed but angry on because they saw everybody could see now they, they how much rent they, they are paying extra and how much they, they don't have to pay if you have a correct and effective law so because this law was one year uh, it existed and then it was uh, taken away again so people are really angry now and uh, everyone says in Berlin that this the new movement of um, expropriating big enterprises uh, it's now really strong again. But let me finish with something um, again about municipalism. Uh, well, in Friedrichshain Kreuzberg, in this district, which is quite left, left, green left, green dominated, um, we, I, I, when I come to this uh, to this position, then one of the first thing I did and all people asked me to do was to talk to the initiatives of the of the housing movement. In the district and say how can we collaborate and on this collaboration on this idea we we invented new structures of collaboration between initiatives people and the district government and we created some i would say municipal structures but that i cannot explain in detail right now 
but it's like um, we give money to an association and this association um, employs people who collaborate with the district and we have a kind of common space we call it a third space of collaboration so this to break up the institution a little bit and this works on different issues like housing um, protection of existing housing um, the right to first refusal also on construction uh, also on traffic so it's a bit like co co-producing uh, politics and it, it's really interesting but it's not as easy sometimes because yeah, um, the, the ideas are different in the civil society and in, in the um, administration okay maybe i finish here